I believe that there's never too many basics in the wardrobe, especially for those colder days. So let's make this turtleneck dress together. Hello amazing people! Today I am going to show you how to make this turtleneck dress. Or you can shorten the length and make it as a top. The shoulder seams aren't where they usually are. Instead, they are lower and they are accompanied by placket details and buttons to give this military style feel. Also, there are special sleeve cuffs to make the sleeve look longer and keep your palms warm. And there's a split for your thumb. So even though these sleeves look long, they aren't restricting the movements. And of course the turtleneck. It is double folded and super warm. I will be using a pattern, which you can get in our online or Etsy store, links are down in the description. You will need a jersey material with at least 35% stretch. Also 6 buttons up to 3 cm in diameter. Matching threads of course. And this is very optional, but if you want more structured look, you can add shoulder pads that are maximum 2 cm in thickness. I will be using serger a lot, but no worries if you don't have it. Scroll down to our description and there will be a link to our Instagram video that explains what sewing machine stitches you can use instead. And sewing machine will be needed anyways. Also, I highly suggest to use special jersey needles for sewing machine. Now let's cut out all the pattern details. And by the way, I shortened this dress by 10 cm compared to the original pattern because I felt I'm in the mood for a mini dress. Speaking about the placket detail, as you can see the straight grain goes this way. So, in theory the right way to cut it is in this direction. However, because I have this ribbing texture, I wanted to play with the lines. So I'm actually going to use the fold line as the straight grain. Just in case, do not repeat this with the larger details, but this one is a small detail and it doesn't matter if it's stretchy or not. Remember to cut the notches at the point so it will be easier to match these details later when sewing together. Be careful not to cut them way too deep, around 3 to 4 millimeters will be perfectly fine. And this notch at the back panel is matching with the sleeve's upper notch. Do not cut the notch at the sleeve's hem though. I will use a soap to mark that notch. Okay, the soap isn't working very well, so I'm using a marker to indicate this point. So let's start by working on the shoulder plackets. Hold both plackets on half so the right side is towards outside and press. Now lay the plackets on the front panel with the right sides facing. Pin or hand stitch to keep them in place. After that lay the back panel on the front panel with the right sides facing. Pin the shoulder seams. Serge or sew the shoulder seams. And yes, all those four layers together. If you are pinning and using a serger, please be very careful with the pins not going under the knife. At this point, it is very important to press the seams towards the back panel so the plackets will nicely stand downwards on the front panel. Now take the turtleneck panel and fold it with the right sides facing. Stitch the side seam. I prefer to use a sewing machine for this detail because I feel that it's easier to get the seam completely flat. But you can also use a serger, it doesn't matter that much. Press the seam open. Mm -hmm. 
After that fold the turtleneck panel on half with the wrong sides facing. And now let's take an iron and press around the folded edge. So now I'm going to take the turtleneck panel and lay its right side together with the dress right side. Match the side seam of the turtleneck panel with the notch at the back panel. Pin all three layers together. Just so you know, the turtleneck panel is slightly shorter than the dress neckline. So you will need to lightly stretch it. It will ensure that it fits very nicely around your neck. And now let's surge around. And remember to be extremely careful with the pins. If you are more experienced then you actually can skip pinning because it's quite easy to match these details together. After surging, leave a longer tail with the thread and use a needle with a big eye to hide this thread inside the seam. In this way, we will be sure that uh, the seam will not rip off even after washing. Press the seam towards the dress panels. Generally, it is more correct to press from the wrong side, but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and this was much more comfortable. Okay, now we are ready to join the sleeves. Lay the dress panels right side together with the sleeves panels right side and remember to match all the correct notches. And now let's search together. And of course, let's repeat the same steps with the other side. Likely press the seam towards the dress panels, especially at the top of the sleeve. Lay the dress with the right sides facing and stitch both side seams, starting from the sleeve hem until to the dress hem. Fold the sleeve cuffs on half with the right sides facing. Pin the side seams and sew them together. To be able to press the sleeve cuffs really nicely, I highly recommend to cut off the corners next to the folded edge. Just be really careful not to cut in the seam. I will show you one more really cool trick for thicker materials. Trim off one half of the seam allowance for one layer only. Later we will flip this cuff detail from inside out and this widest seam allowance we will be covering the shortest seam allowance very nicely and there won't be any bulking up. And now let's flip the details from the inside out. Try to bring the corners and the seam as close to the edge as possible and make sure that the shape is very nice and straight. 
press press them both. Now take the dress, I will flip it so the right side is towards outside. Find the notch at the sleeve hand and lay the cuff with the right sides facing around the hand. So the beginning and the end of this cuff starts at the notch, not at the side seam. And now surge around all these three layers together. I guess this is the trickiest part for this dress. Try to get the edges of the cuffs as close together as possible. And now again, let's hide the loose overlock threads inside the seam. I'm so sorry it went out of the focus, but I hope you get the idea. At this moment, I recommend to try this dress on and decide maybe you need to do some final alterations. For example, I realized that I should make it tighter around my waist and a bit around the hips. And yes, maybe I made it a bit too short. It is always wiser to cut it longer and you can always shorten if you want to. After the final alterations, let's work with the hand. If you have a cover stitch machine, that's perfect, use it now. But uh, for the rest of us, start by neatening the seam. Fold 2.5 cm apart from the edge and stitch. My suggestion is to use a sewing machine stitch that is more elastic than the regular straight stitch. It could be the three step straight stitch or maybe even a narrow zigzag stitch. Do not worry if your hem is looking as wavy as mine is. It's a very regular thing with sewing machine and jersey materials. Simply press it and it will flatten out. And now the final detail. Let's sew on the buttons. To keep the plackets nicely fixed in the place, stitch through all three layers. If you want to, after sewing on all six buttons, you can sew inside the dress the shoulder pads. But if you don't want to, then simply give the final press and you have finished. If you like this tutorial, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for more sewing tutorials. Bye!